Griffiths 3 is the latest scales that have been revised to keep them up to date with children's development as it's changed over the years and also with new theories about child development that we know now know more about than we did previously. Griffiths scales were originally developed by Ruth Griffiths who initially developed the 0-2 scales and these were then extended to include um, children from 2 to 8. They were then updated into the GMDSER and more recently we have the new Griffiths 3 scales which has five scales um, and it focuses on children from birth to six years. It covers development across five areas which are foundations of learning, language, eye and hand coordination, personal social and gross motor. Because it looks at a holistic view of a child's development, we can get a lot of information about whether they are developing as we would expect typical children to develop, or whether they are showing any areas that they're struggling with. We can look and see if a child has particular difficulties and try and find exactly what these may be and what interventions may be appropriate to help them improve in these areas. We think it's more up to date and child friendly. We felt it was much better having one continuous scale rather than having two separate scales as the older test did. ARICD is the Association for Research into Infant and Child Development and it was founded really to promote research in the area of child development and also to support the scales and keep them up to date. They're now used widely by paediatricians, psychologists and allied health professionals if they're working in a developmental team. And is used internationally in a wide range of countries including South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Portugal, Italy, Russia, France. The Griffiths has thrived in Australia because it provides a very valuable way of assessing young children with various developmental disorders. The new Griffiths 3 is really proving to be such a popular measure, particularly in South Africa, because it's engaging children in a very meaningful way using play. The Griffiths 3 has enriched the professional's capacity to discern diagnostic patterns and identify discrete skills which are seamlessly linked with intervention programs. The children absolutely love using Griffiths 3. The items are bright and attractive to the children. We have a new quad book that's proving very popular with the children and also the parents, so there's more interaction. Certainly feedback from practitioners who have been using it so far is that children really like the test. They find it fun. Well, the good news is that each of the subskills... Training in Griffiths 3 is organised in two parts. There is a new um, online e-learning part one. Having completed it, you're eligible to take part two, which is a three-day practical face-to-face -face, um, course, which includes um, hands-on practice of assessment with children. For practitioners who use the old-style Griffiths, that is what we call a conversion course. There has been a steep learning curve for people who've used it previously. You just glean a lot of information about a child holistically and I think that is fascinating. And also watching children develop over time is fascinating and is always rewarding and keeps you interested.